Here's the serve. Picked up by Quillico. Joust at the net. Picked up by Penn State. Bump set, Ariel Wilson. Megan Hodge! A kill. A kill. It is history! The Nittany Lion women's volleyball team made history. 102 consecutive wins and three national championships. Megan Hodge won the Honda Award, and she left behind a legacy. This year, it was kind of, as Coach told me and Alicia before the season started, you know, how are you going to leave your mark on this program? It's kind of us leaving our legacy, and, you know, the seniors next year will have to leave their legacy on this program. So I think this one was more important mentally just because it was something that we really had to leave our mark on. It's incredible. It's it's hard to, you know, when you get outside of it and you realize that to win a national championship is an incredible experience and it's not something that everybody gets to do. And the fact that we've done it three times is just absolutely amazing. I'm really fortunate that what I wanted to have happen when I got to college is something that happened. So it's been an incredible journey that I've gone on with my teammates and the people that I've met along the way. One national championship makes you a national champion. To have three, uh, you know, is is incredible for those guys, and and they and they and they had to work hard, and they had to work through things because I was never letting them off the hook, and there was, there was always expectations for more and more, not more wins, more contributions, more availability to the community, more uh, making yourself a better role model for the other players and young kids that that aspire to be college players. He's the first to tell you you don't get there unless you have great players. And he had the dynamic duo of Alicia Glass and Megan Hodge. The fact that they had the best four-year record of any team in college volleyball history sums up what they did. I think they've separated themselves uh, from their peers and set the bar high enough that for somebody to beat them, they're going to have to win all four. And if that happens, uh, you know, we'll applaud those people or hope there are people. <laughs> For the Penn State players, a chance to reflect, and they all realize they accomplished something very special. It's unbelievable, you know, it's never been done, and it's something that I think we'll all be telling our kids and our grandkids when we have them, and it's an unbelievable accomplishment. The best way to describe it is um, perfection, for the seniors at least, because they ended their career on a win, they ended their career on um, another undefeated season, so definitely something that you can't really put enough words on it to describe it. I don't think any anybody can like top the feelings that we like our team like went through. It's great to just kind of look back at the seasons we had with these people and and understand that we did it all together. And that's what's important. For head coach Russ Rose, no time to reflect. He's already turned the calendar ahead. 2010 is oh, it was on my mind later that night, and, and it has been on my mind all the time. I think when you retire and you look back and you say, ah, that was a great year and that was a great, it was a great run. These guys were terrific players, they worked hard, and, and that's really the key for me is getting them to work hard. It's impossible to say, how are you going to replace Alicia Glass and how are you going to replace Megan Hodge? And I look back and say, we've had 30 or 40 All-Americans that we've replaced before them. We'll replace them, but, but we'll always respect their efforts and what they did. And they put a lot of banners up on the wall and they put a lot of smiles on people's faces and, uh, and, and you go from there. Go to GoPSUSports.com for more information on the Women's Volleyball Season Highlight DVD. Oh my God, these are so heavy. Can you guys help me with these? I mean, uh, I don't think do you so. know what it's like to have two trophies? Uh, not really. Unfortunately, no. So you're not gonna help me with these? I don't think, I don't we, think we, so. we don't want yours. <laughs> Do you guys get jealous that we've won three and you guys have won one? Not at all, you're playing against girls. So, you think you guys could beat us? We could beat, beat you guys with like two or three players. Yeah. So what players would you guys choose to play against us? I think you're looking at them. These three? Yeah. Yep. Where, what about the defense factor? What we lack in defense, we'd make up for an intimidation. <laughs> <laughs>
WPSU is your source for Penn State sports, Penn State research, Penn State community. But we can't do it without your support. Become a member today and get a DVD of your favorite Penn State show.